Welcome back to Focus on Southeast. I'm Dan Woods, General Manager of KRCU Public Radio. We're talking today with Southeast President Carlos Vargas. A new cattle feeding facility at the university's David M. Barton Agricultural Research Center was recently dedicated, as you know. The facility mm -hmm. is a collaborative effort with the Missouri Department of Agriculture, the, the Agriculture Foundation, and the Missouri Beef Initiative Council to study the economic benefits of covered feeding. So what will the university be studying with this project and what's the benefit for the for the students here at the university well i think basically uh what we are doing in this uh, partnership is uh, providing uh developing uh, the infrastructure that is going to allow us to do some research and uh for the benefit of the uh, of the beef cattle industry and and production uh so uh in in, in that facility what we're going to have is is the ability on uh, looking at the cattle's feed to gain ratio, behavior and welfare and meat quality for consumer ratings. Uh, it is just an opportunity that we have that we couldn't uh, be engaged in before. And uh, we're happy that uh, we actually got uh, the Missouri Agriculture Foundation, the Department of Agriculture, uh, the, the Missouri Beef Initiative, all these partners mm -hmm. to recognize how important it is to help us develop the facilities here that will allow you to, uh, allow us to do the, the kind of research that is going to benefit the beef industry. So. And the university, of course, recently dedicated <coughs> a rice research greenhouse as well. So that, let's step back for a moment and just talk about uh, the university and agriculture because we're in an agricultural area, of course. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for our students and what does this mean for the region broadly when the university engages in these kind of activities? Well, that's a, it's a great question because uh, agriculture, we all know, is a critical industry in this region and we I, I think it, it goes without saying that we need to be uh, uh, agriculture has to be a, a very high priority area for the university to mm -hmm. support and that's exactly what we're doing so the the beef uh, the, uh, the this facility that we did the, the cattle feeding facility on the one hand and then the the, the rice uh, greenhouse that we just uh, uh, dedicated uh, yesterday as a matter of fact uh, are examples of the kinds of involvement and engagement that the university has with the industry around here to provide them with the opportunity to do certain research uh, and also to give them the kind of access to, to the, uh, the talent that is needed for uh, them, for example, to hire individuals. And so for our students, it's absolutely wonderful the fact that they can actually go into this uh, sites and interact directly with the uh, representatives from the industry, whether it's uh, in the in the rice, uh, the greenhouse with the uh, the rice council, for example, that uh, is interested in doing and exploring ways in uh, of growing rice with different characteristics that will make make it more resistant, that will make it uh, rice, for example, that absorbs less arsenic, uh, and you know those kinds of things. So we really are providing a very important service to the region, to the uh, economy of the region. And, and that's, I think, that the things that we have to do. So we're doing that. It's benefiting our students, but also we are hiring faculty that are contributing to doing the research, working with the students and working with the industry. That is exactly what the university has to do in, in that area. So agriculture being one that's critical, important, is one of those. I, I might actually also say that, as you know, we have just recently established our uh, program on unmanned aircraft systems, which is essentially called drones. Right. I mean, drones have a very important application in, in, in agriculture. And so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using drones and, and having our students develop abilities and skills that are going to then be of, of benefit for the industry, for the agricultural uh, industry here. So it's more than just reading it in a textbook. They're going to mm -hmm. be able to get some real yes. hands-on experience mm -hmm. with these areas, which is when they go out looking for jobs, it's going to be a very powerful tool to have in their toolkit. It, 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 it will be, and it will help our industry uh, be uh, more prominent in, at the national level. The fact that uh, they are working with universities and that we are developing new approaches, uh, exploring new ways of being more efficient for them to be more efficient and actually also give our students the opportunity to have jobs. Very exciting things happening. Mm -hmm. We've got just a few, we got just a little bit of time left. So before we go, I want to just ask you quickly about 
uh, the Southeast Arrow, the student newspaper, won an Apple Award. Mm -hmm. Things like this are so important for students, mm -hmm. and it's a great experience for them, but it tells us what kind of things are students doing just real quickly here, really involved in here at the university. Uh, in terms of the uh, uh, this yeah. the arrow, uh, yeah, the, uh, exactly. the, the arrow gives them an, a great opportunity to to uh, be engaged in, in journalism in general, mm -hmm. and the fact that we have this relationship with the Southeast Missourian, the students actually mm -hmm. are being mm -hmm. uh, mentored, advised by professionals in the field is uh, is, a, is a great opportunity. So, and, and now that we are located, uh, the the arrow is located in the Ross Center for Media on Broadway. Uh, they are really next door to the Southeast Missourians, so they really have to only just walk down the hallway and literally talk to somebody who is a professional in the field. And what we're finding out is that the Southeast Missourians sometimes see some of the product of the arrow, and they actually then are able to take some of that and, and use it in ways that they uh, that will uh, allow them to uh, provide news to the community. Very exciting. Dr. Mm -hmm. Vargas, thank you once again. Thank you very much, then. Bye-bye. Very see good to see you again. Uh, good to see you. Focus on Southeast is a collaboration of KRCU and the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University. Just a reminder that portions of these monthly conversations with Dr. Vargas will be broadcast on KRCU and are also available as a podcast in iTunes and the NPR One app. I'm Dan Woods, General Manager of KRCU Public Radio. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us next time for Focus on Southeast.